Nayut. I assume na nakapanood na kayo ng videos about mutual funds or na-encounter nyo yung concept about mutual funds. But as your speaker for tonight, as much as possible, I'll give a personal touch to it. I will share my like experience since I've been with IMG for the last um, since 2007. So mutual fund investing is something which is long term, hindi siya short term of course, hindi siya yung after a month or two months. So just like any investment na long term, more to the fact na um, ang goal natin is not just to accumulate money. Ang pinaka goal natin as well is yung to instill discipline to really invest consistently. Hindi lang yung I feel ko mag-invest ako ngayon. Um mag-invest ako. Kung hindi, sige, stop muna. Hindi. Ang totoong investment and convenient it may be, uh, walang excuses na mag-invest at mag-invest ka. Sige, I'll share my slides. Tapos, um, i-chat nyo na lang ako if ever my problem. Ayan. So, when I was invited in 2007, um, nag-invite sa akin is katabi ko lang sa plane, one of the preachers of Bo Sanchez. And one thing that he mentioned about me is this, mutual funds. So, ito yung nakapa-attract sa akin. Kasi given naman yun, di ba, uh, Filipinos, I think most of us, mas attractive sa atin ang investment compared sa insurance. It's only that when I came to know yung building a solid financial foundation na na-realize ko na, ay, huli pala si, ano, huli pala si investment. So, that's one of the reasons na pumunta ako sa King's Court to attend the seminar because my focus or yung pinaka-interest ko talaga is mutual fund. But you know, at the end of the talk, at the end of the BPM, that's what we call it, years ago, yung equivalent ng MO ngayon, na-realize ko na, oh, pala, no, yung investment, hindi ka pwede na diretso doon if you don't have healthcare, if you don't have insurance, if you don't have mutual funds, or if you still have debts. Pero for tonight, or for this afternoon, kasi yung iba-iba tayong time zones, like I think in Europe or Middle East, hindi pa, gano, hindi pa gabi, so I think late afternoon pa lang. So for this session, our focus is mutual fund. Pero i-dissect muna natin yung term, no? Um, bakit ba siya tinawag na mutual? Di ba, common nating naririnig yung uh, mutual yung feelings or sa biology class natin, di ba, mutually beneficial relationship. So, mutual is, di ba, parang both of us benefit. So, hindi lang yung kumpanya yung nagbe-benefit as well as yung investors. Di ba, unlike if you put it on a bank, comparison, di ba, nagsisave tayo, pero yung kita natin parang sobrang ang liit-liit compared dun sa kinikita ng banko sa pera natin. Well, I have nothing against the bank, but right now, since we're talking about mutual fund, this is something which is long-term. So, we're willing, we are willing to trade off yung uh, length ng time against accessibility. Kasi sa banko, ang savings account, uh, gusto natin accessible, kaya willing tayo ng lower interest. So sa mutual funds naman, willing tayo ng mahaba-haba para sa mataas na interests. So mutual fund. So before we go into the details, ano being stages of money management? Diba? Meron tayong X-curve, solid financial foundation, rule of 72, which as well reflects uh, the stages. Of course, we want to start by making money, right? Um, yun ang pinaka-basic. Kaya sa financial foundation natin, doon natin malalaman yung sabi, additional sources of income. Diba? Tinuturo natin na wag makontento sa uh, wag makontento sa isang pinagkakakitaan. Uh, yan yung realization ko. Uh, right after graduation, I worked in Japan. So when I went back here sa Philippines, Medyo challenging yung income. I mean, Iko-compare mo siya as, di ba, OFW yung mga iba dito. Pagbalik mo dito sa Pilipinas, you cannot demand your pay. So sabi ko noon, so 8 to 5, I work as a geologist for the Philippine National Oil Company. So dapat after office work, dapat papasok pa rin ang pera. Because pwedeng magtrabaho tayo for 8 hours, kumita tayo ng sabi natin 3,000 or 4,000 pesos, pero that same amount, 
you can spend in 30 minutes or in one hour. Diba? Pwedeng pumunta ka sa mall, may binili kang gadget or sobrang uh, kumain ka sa isang social na restaurant. Yung tinrabaho mo for eight hours, pwedeng mawala ka agad. So in making money, it's not enough that we have one source of income or it's not enough to be um, content with salary. Kasi we cannot demand to our bosses na i-increase tayo every year. Before, when I was working for PNOC, usually um, may policy noon na kung ano man yung inflation rate, at least yun yung itataas ng income mo. Diba? Increase sana siya, pero essentially, if you would examine, hindi siya increase eh. Kasi parang pang ano lang, pang balance lang. Kasi yung mabibili ng sweldo mo this year, kung hindi yan mag-increase numerically, mas konti na yung mabibili niya or mapapurchase niya. So, really make more money. So, additional sources of income, meron din tayong way we call budgeting. But then, yung budgeting... Uh, limited lang yan to a certain extent. Diba? Hindi naman pwedeng hindi na tayo kumain or hindi na tayo buma- magbayad ng utilities just to have some money to invest. So ang may, may, ano dyan, may potential to really give a significant source of income is yung ano, yung ito. Yung having additional sources of income. Because once we address yung source of income na yan, diba, um, magkakaroon tayo ng opportunity to save something from what we make. Kaya dun, dun papasok yung equation na tinuturo natin, income minus savings is equal to expenses. Other people would contest na, Marjun, if I would get my expenses from my income, wala na talaga akong masisave. So again, babalik tayo sa pinaka-fundamental step which is, having additional sources of income para ibawas mo man yung expenses mo, yung savings, ma, ano pa rin, uh, hindi ganun kaliit or meron kang masisave. But we don't stop on saving money. Kasi yung saving, parang other word siguro dyan would be keeping. Diba? Safekeeping. Like yung ginagawa natin sa banko. Diba? Hindi siya nag-grow. Ano lang, parang custodianship lang. Sige, patago ko yung pera. Pero diba, pinagpaguran mo yan dapat patrabawin din natin. So, from this stage, from saving money, dapat we move forward, di ba? Growing our, growing our money. So, accumulation of wealth, so making and saving money, then growing that money. So, dyan na papasok, dito papasok si investment. Ay, sorry. So, dito papasok si investment. Dito papasok yung topic natin. A form of investing or a financial tool to invest is through mutual funds. Through MFs. Okay. From growing money, hindi pa rin tayo magsa-stop dyan. So we should protect our money. So protect and what? We protect that money para ano? Protect or preserve that money. So once we preserve our wealth, we would be able to transfer that wealth. Kasi pwedeng nag-grow mo nga yung pera mo, pero wala kang estate planning na ginawa. Pwedeng maklima nila, pero ang dami ng bawas. Or kung wala talagang planning, pwedeng diba, si government ang magtitake over kung paano i-distribute yung estate mo, baka wala ka nang matransfer. So very important as well to protect that that money that we accumulated, uh, that money that we saved, and that money that we grew. So we go through the stages. Of course, chronological, di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng i-protect na natin yung money kung wala pa tayong pera, di ba? Or i-grow na natin yung money, i-invest na natin yung pera sa 10% kung wala tayong pera, di ba? Any percent of zero is zero. So, 10% man yan yung sa mutual fund, pero zero, wala kang investment, zero pa rin yan. So, we go through the stages. So, again, um, sabi nga nila, the quickest way to get rich is to get rich slowly. So, ako babalik at babalik ako doon sa na-instill sa akin ng personal financial planning. It's, kasi yung iba, di ba, parang nandun yung gigel or parang gustong madaliin na yumama ng sobra, kaagad-agad. So, financial planning is really it's more on the journey or the process na, okay, um, uugaliin ko yung sarili ko na 
na mag-budget. Ako, 2007 or early, late 2007 and I think the whole of 2008, um, yung SMD ko kasi, marketing director at the time, so I'm under ano, no, Miss Rose and Miss Ojing. May tina-target talaga kami na ano, may tina-target kami na monthly saving sa mutual fund. Like ako, in my case, um, nag issue ako na ng, ng cheque. So post-dated. I think Cramper at the time, they could accept 6 months to 12 months na post-dated check. So since alam ko na kung magkano yung issue ko, so as in, umabot ako sa point na para lang ma-target yung target savings ko. I mean, like, nagde-delata ako or um, hindi ko na dinadalasan mag-taxi. Pero at least, parang, di ba, yung iba parang isip na, OA ka naman. Pero you know, when I look back at it, parang iba yung discipline na na-inculcate sa akin or instill sa akin ng process na yun. And it also made me realize na hindi pwedeng, uh, hindi, hindi tayo yayaman sa salary. So, kailangan talaga dagdaga ng, ng negosyo. Babalik at babalik pa rin tayo dito. Having additional sources of income. Kaya nga, uh, may tinuturo din tayo na lecture na, di ba? Um, creating multiple streams of passive income. Hindi, creating multiple streams of active income. Kasi mahirap kung multiple streams of active income. That means, di ba, pagod na pagod ka. I mean, may 8 to 5 ka na, magtatrabaho ka pa ulit, magtatrabaho ka ulit. So, dapat multiple streams of passive income. Okay. Goal setting. So, bakit ba tayo nagsisave? Kasi, ang tendency natin, di ba, when I was starting, parang sa'yo, ay, magsisave ako para yung maman. Di ba, parang napaka-vague na parang uh, dun papasok yung sinasabi nila, madalas nating maririnig sa trainings yung basta kung alam mo yung reason mo, yung why mo, the how will follow. So, ganun din when it comes to investing. Di ba? Ano ba yung why natin? Yun yung goal. Yun yung goal. Di ba? Why? Why will I do IMG? Why am I willing to be far away from my family to work outside the Philippines? Di ba? Ano yung why mo? Di ba? For to provide quality education to my children. Bakit ba ko, bakit ko ba ginagawa si IMG? Diba? To do the mission as well as to establish a business, to have other sources of significant income. So that's our goal. Ganun din when it comes to investing. So dapat, when we invest, i-associate natin siya sa goals natin. Sabi nga dyan, um, your dreams are only your dreams Diba? Until you write them down, then they are goals. Uh, mga Filipinos, diba? Parang, ay, gusto kong yumaman, gusto ko ng ganitong kotse, gusto ko ng ganito, ganyan. Pero hanggang sabi lang. Um, or yung iba, daydreaming. Diba? May mga pangarap, hindi definite. Tapos, hindi na nga definite, hindi pa rin definite yung ways how to achieve those dreams. So, ako parang, through IMG, parang, um, as I, gusto ko lang i-share, you know, when I was in college, um, basta ang naging programa ko na, right after graduation, ang bala ko noon mag-master's, tapos mag-PhD. Kasi na-inspire ko ng mga professors ko na mayat maya ang alis ng bansa. Kaka-attend ng anong convention, kaka-field work, etc. So, all throughout my stay in college, parang yun yung ginugol ko. Swerte na lang na before graduation and my fourth year, may nag-recruit na French company sa university namin. So, I was fortunate na February pa lang, may contract na ako to work outside the Philippines. Um, so, yun. Uh, parang y- yun, ang, yun ang goal ko. So, si IMG, parang siya yung nag-change ng mindset ko na from being from being having a mentality of an employee, yung IMG parang in-instill din sa atin yung pagkaroon ng, ano, ng business mindset. And as a business person, very important yung goal setting. So, dapat isulat natin yan. So, indirectly, I was introduced to IMG through Bo Sanchez. So, siguro some of you will have this. Ako, before this talk, inano ko lang yung post ko sa FB na sabi ko, kasi mahilig talaga ako mag, pinractice ko yung magsulat ng dreams ko. Diba? Kasi everyday, um, everyday, 
titingnan mo siya, then it will remind you of your reasons para, di ba, para mabuhay, para maging uh, masigasig, para maging matyaga. Hindi to latest kasi ito lang yung available sa FB wall ko, sinerge ko siya. Pero alam mo, um, most of them, ah, parang nangyari na. Yung iba delayed, like two years or four years, pero halos lahat, nang sinulat ko dito, of course, mag-upgrade ka ng dreams mo, um, nangyari na siya. Say for example, etong bandang right, parang sinulat ko dyan, I want to attend the World Youth Day in Madrid in 2011. Tapos nag-European tour kami, so in Netherlands, uh, Vatican, Rome, Portugal, etc. So, nangyari siya. Kasi, di ba, uh, parang ano yun, subconsciously, kung binabasa mo, kung time to time, tinitingnan mo, parang nag-rearrange yung universe na mangyayari yan, di ba? Parang ma-feel ni universe, nako, napaka-pursigido naman tong tao na to, ibibigay ko sa kanya. Then, yan, so yung first ano, real estate ko, uh, yan, medyo na-delay yan, pero at least nagkatotoo pa rin. Then, I have this Um, dream of, since wala naman akong family of my own, um, tapos nanggaling ako sa, sabihin na natin, ano, mahirap na family kasi both of my parents are public teachers. Tapos ano kami, like anim kaming magkakapatid. So just imagine during the time na lahat kami nagka-college sa Manila, yung bunso yung natira sa sa probinsya. Sobrang, ano, sobrang mahirap. So, when I started working, parang ang payback ko sa kanila is to tour them almost every year. Kasi, uh, kumbaga, nung bata sila, hindi naman nila, hindi naman nila nagawa yun. Or hindi, nung pinapaaral nila kami, syempre, tuition pa lang, allowance, um, they, don't, they didn't have the luxury to treat themselves. E eh, medyo matanda na parents ko, like ngayon nasa six, uh, 60s na yung mom ko, yung father ko nasa 70s na. So, habang malakas pa, di ba, i-travel natin. Ayan, so, ang pinaka-point ko dito is write down your dreams. Ako, even may passwords ko sa ano, sa computers or gadgets, instead ng mga kung ano-anong code, parang declaration siya. ba? Diba? Say, say, for example, I am wealthy, I am blessed, I am great. Pero hindi yan, ha? baka i-try nyo. So, at least, ba? Diba, every time you log into your computer, parang subconsciously, sinasabihan ka na, you're great, you're wealthy, Ganon. Tapos ang mga screensaver ko, yung vision board. So that every time, di ba ngayon din naman, halos lahat online na. Siyempre, nasa heart, like ito, pang-apat ko na to na to, kaya medyo namamaos na ako. I mean, pang-apat ko na to for this day. So di ba, since nasa harap na tayo ng computer, nasa harap na tayo ng tablet, ng phone, o oh, ang gawin mo ng screensaver mo, yung vision board mo. So that, di ba, every time na nag, ano yan, nag sleep mode, tapos i-reactivate mo ulit, makikita mo ulit yung screensaver mo, oh, ito yung dreams ko, ito yung vision board ko. Little by little, uh, magkakatotoo yung mga yan. Ayan, so... Goal and matching. Goal and fun matching. So, may goals na tayo. Tapos, to realize those goals, uh, ang avenue natin is investing in mutual funds. Example, investing in mutual funds. Pwede kang mag-invest sa stocks, sa forex, etc. Pero for this topic, ang mutual funds. Okay, invest. So, sabi dito, invest in what's most suitable for you and what matches your goal and time frame. Ako, um, sinasabi ko sa mga prospects ko or sa mga members ko, uh, we call this personal financial planning because it works best on a personal level. Example, kanina, um, sa si isang MO ko, small group, like apat kami, um, I see to it na may follow-up appointment kasi syempre, iba-iba yung sitwasyon nila. Di ba yung isa may pinapaaral sa college, yung isa uh, bachelor, yung isa ganito lang yung responsibility. So, ibig sabihin, iba-iba uh, yung goals nila, iba-iba yung risk tolerance nila, iba yung time frame nila. So, kaya ganun sa investing, when we do the follow-up, like yung blueprint or financial check-up, do natin malalaman ano yung most suitable para sa tao or para sa atin. And aning nagmamatch na investment sa kanilang goal and sa kanilang time frame. So, see, at least may three elements na dapat i-consider. Most suitable, fit sa tao, aning nagmamatch sa goal niya, at ano yung time horizon niya. Hindi pwedeng, ay, gusto ko lang mag-invest para yumaman. 
di ba? Parang hindi na answer yung three elements na diniscuss natin. Suitable, matches your goal. Siguro yung goal na yung maman, vague pa rin, di ba? Parang sasabihin mo, ay gusto kong pumunta ng abroad, eh wala namang country na abroad. Then, time frame, kailan? So, goals and fund matching. So, when it comes to time frame, say for example, short term, so one to three years, dun ang recommended is bond fund. For medium naman, three to five years, balanced. Long term, five years and beyond, stock fund. Okay, ano yung mga short term? Say for example, uh, down payment ng bahay or condo. Di ba, bubuniin mo for... Uh, one to three years. Kasi ngayon, di ba, kung bibili ka ng real estate property, mag equity ka for the first three years. Pero pag i-turn over sa'yo, may isang malaking payment eh. Like, example, kung 5 million yung condo mo, I think may turnover na almost 300,000. So, pwedeng uh, mag-fall yun sa ano, dito sa bond fund. Meaning, um, gagamitin mo siya in the next three years, hindi ganun kataas ang kikitain, pero at least naman mas mataas kesa sa banko. Okay, balance fund. Okay, what if um, may anak ka na nasa second year high school tapos magka-college five years from now. So, pwedeng sa balance fund natin yon ilagay. Five years and beyond, dito papasok si retirement. Dito, education of your children. Pero depende. Like, say for example, kung anak mo zero year old or hindi pa pinapanganak, uh, pwedeng, ano, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng i-stocks mo siya. Like, say for example, uh, 12 years or 15 years from now. So, basta very important na yung kung saan tayo mag invest titingnan natin yung, titingnan natin yung time frame. So, may short term, may medium term, tsaka may long term. And then, also, i-consider din natin yung risk appetite. So, if bond fund, dapat ano, risk averse or conservative. Um, I participate sa Reddit. So, parang it's, siguro yung mga medyo old na, parang equivalent siya ng Pinoy exchange before, yun yung sikat. So, may nagtatanong doon, uh, kinatiwala daw siya ng lola niya ng 2 million pesos saan daw ilalagay. So, di ba, kung Iisipin natin, kung matanda na yan, of course, ang appetite niya for risk, uh, mababa. So, instead na sa banko, pwedeng sa bond fund yung ganun. Meaning, um, bihira siya mag-negative, pero yung potential niya to earn high, hindi ganun kalaki compared to balance or compared to stocks. Moderate, so in between, or kung aggressive ka, stock fund. Ako actually, um, lalo na yung new members, no? tatanungin natin, oh, ano bang risk appetite mo? Sasabihin nila, uh, conservative or uh, parang kinakabahan. Pero I would just ask them, when it comes to time frame, kung handa ka naman na hindi galawin yung pera mo in the next five years, might as well, pwede natin i-stocks yan or equities. So again, ang ano dito, ang, ang approach is compartmentalized. Parang sa ano din, parang sa budgeting din, like ako in-encourage ko na say for example for expenses, uh, dapat may um, expense, may bank account ka for mortgage, may bank account ka for basic needs, may bank account ka for, uh, for your optional expenses. So ganun din when it comes to mutual fund. So compartmentalized approach in the sense na per mutual fund, may goal ka na associated for it. Example, kill equity for your retirement. So, Divo strategic for your additional retirement fund. So, Divo bonds for your um, emergency fund or a portion of your emergency fund or um, down payment to your uh, house and lot or condo unit na hinuhulugan na yung equity. So, dapat compartmentalize para din ma-figure out natin uh, magkano yung i-invest dapat natin every month. Say, for example, you figured out na um, kailangan mag-prepare ng 300,000 for the turnover. So, ikaw compute man, you have three years to prepare for that. Magkano dapat yung ilagay ko every month? Hindi naman pwedeng 300,000 yung in-expect natin tapos mag-100 pesos lang tayo every month. In-exaggerate ko lang up just to um, point out na may mathematics din ang ano, investment. 
Sige, why invest? So these are the reasons. Diba? Aside from our goals, number one is to what? To beat inflation. Diba? Inflation rate on the average, diba? 3 to 6%. Uh, magkano ang interest ng commercial banks? I think with BPI or BDO, almost the same, 0.252%. May percent pa ha, so imove mo pa to ng 1, 2. So, uh, point, ay, hindi, move to the left ng 2. So, 0 0.00252. I-multiply mo yung 1,000, di ba? Tapos less 20% with the holding tax. Sobrang ang liit. Okay, so beat inflation. Kung ito ang rate ng savings account natin, ang inflation 6%, ba negative, negative 5%, negative 5 point something percent, yung net loss natin. So one of the reasons na kailangan tayong mag-invest is to beat inflation. So second is, ito ning minensyon natin in the uh, previous slides, is to achieve our financial... Sorry. Achieve our financial goals. Diba? Since, sabi natin, financial planning, investing is long-term. So, since long-term ang mga goals natin, karamihan, bulk of them, hindi pwedeng uh, long-term goal pero short-term facility like ATM or savings account or checking account. So, dito napapasok talaga si mutual funds. So to achieve our financial goals, hindi pwedeng may mismatch. Long-term yung goal natin, pero short-term facility yung pinaglalagyan natin ng pera. ba common example yung magre-retire ka, nasa savings account, tapos biglang nag-sale. Yung sale, diba, midnight madness, hanggang 12 midnight lang. So kinalimutan mo ng retirement mo, ay, um, etong sale na to hanggang 12 midnight na lang, yung retirement ko, 10 years, 20 years pa from now. So sa sobrang accessibility ng pera mo sa banko, di ba with all the online shopping, lahat, di ba, napaka-accessible na mag, ano, uh, gumasta or mag-shopping. So with that, sa sobrang accessible niya, napupunta sa ibang, uh, sa i sa ibang bagay yung pang retire mo. So, yun din yung benefit ng mutual funds. Hindi siya ganun ka-accessible. Kaya, nai-instill sa atin yung discipline to really stick with the reason bakit ba ako nag-invest kung retirement yan sa retirement. Okay. Um, hindi ko nakikita yung chat, ha? So, okay. Yung friend ako sa FB, pa-chat na lang. So, check ko time to time yung cellphone ko to check kung baka disconnected na ako or kung yung audio may problema. So, definition tayo. Mutual fund. What is a mutual fund? It says here, uh, an investment company that, ano yung mga key terms dito? Pools money together from numerous investors ayun, and invest them, thanks, Jesse, and invest them in various securities depending on the investment objectives and policies of the company. And policies of the company. Okay. Yeah. So, an investment company that pulls money together, of course, di ba, kung may pinoprospect tayo, hindi pwedeng i-memorize to, tapos ganito yung sabihin natin. So, simpler terms, di ba, mutual, isipin nyo na lang na parang bayanihan spirit um, para ka maka-invest sa stock market, yung hardcore stock market, kaya mo ka ng million para pansinin ng broker. Diba, mag, ilan, ilang Filipinos ang merong million or millions na investable fund? Halos wala. Pero a lot of Filipinos could afford 5,000 or 1,000 pesos. So ipul natin yon sama-sama that could create million, millions, or even billions. So andun na yung power to purchase stocks or shares of the companies. So, from numerous, so marami tayo, di ba? Marami tayong stockholders ng Soldivo, Strategic, uh, or IMG, Soldivo Funds. Then, invest them in return, pakapool nung pera, i-invest siya sa values. So, values meaning, andito na yung one of the advantages, which is diversification. Hindi lang siya yung bibili, like sa stock trading, di ba? Bibili ka ng specific shares, Jollibee, PLDT, uh, pal. Ang risk naman nun, 
di ba? What if nag, um, nag-invest ka sa aviation, si for example, PAL or Cebu Pacific, but with this pandemic, sobrang bagsak yan. Well, it could, you can view it as advantage or disadvantage, di ba? Pero kung kailangan mo ng pera at kailangan mo mag-pull out, dugi ka at sobrang bagsak. Pero you could as well take advantage kasi mababa yung NAVPS. Well, but one of the advantages of mutual funds is really diversified. So, various securities depending on the investment objectives. So, sabi dito, depending on the investment objectives. So, dito napapasok yung element na diniscuss natin kanina, which is the risk appetite. So, yeah, depending on the investment objectives and policies of the company. So, investment objectives, kung niya aggressive or sabihin natin, play safe. So, kung ang investment objective natin is preservation of capital, so, bond fund yan. Pero kung ang investment objective natin, growth of capital, either balance yan or um, equities or stocks. So, paano nag-work si mutual fund? Ayan. So, a mutual fund is money pooled. So, uh, keters talaga tong pooling of money, kaya mutual tulong-tulong tayo, buuhin natin to from a certain number of investors. So each fund has a specific mandate or purpose and a professional fund manager. So ang iintindihan mo na lang is maglagay ng pera. Meron ng professional fund manager that who, who will decide kung, kanino kung saan i-invest yung na-pool na pera natin. So they are guided by a specific strategy and goal of the fund. So to know more kung ano ba yung specifics ng mutual fund na pinasok mo, there is a document called Prospectus. Halos na na lahat. Sino yung fund manager, ano, ano yung portfolio niya, like ilan ang napupunta sa ganitong industry, um, an, kung balance, ilan yung component ng bond, ilan, uh, how, anong percentage ng stocks. So, Pwede din yung i-video na document we call uh, prospectus. So lahat halos ng gusto mong malaman about the mutual fund company ando na sa document na yun. Di ba? Yun ang maganda din sa mutual fund. Later on, discuss natin yung transparency. Um, when you deposit your money to the bank, di ba wala kang karapatan to ask, o saan nyo ilalagay tong 100,000 ko? Example, nag-deposit ako ng 100,000. Walang document such as prospectus na itong 100,000 mo dito siya mapupunta. Um, sa mutual fund, ganun. Transparent. So, alam mo kung paano kikita yung pera mo and as well, ano yung risks na involve dun sa in-invest mo sa mutual fund company. Okay. Paano siya nag-work? So dito, all walks of life, si person A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, all walks of life, di ba, pwede tayong mag-invest. Um, siguro naman with 1,000, um, with 1,000, marami tayong, um, marami tayong pwedeng mayaya na mag-invest. So ipupul yung pera, so from these persons, tapos etong in-invest natin, i-convert yan into currency code shares. Diba? Based on the net asset value per share. So, through a mutual fund company, and yung mutual fund company na yon have fund managers. Yung fund managers na yon sila na magde-decide. Depending on the strategy, depending on the goal of fund, mamimili na sila, stocks ba or bonds? Or kung balance, ano yung distribution? Ano yung relative distribution? Um, 40% stocks ba? 50% stocks? Then, uh, 60% stocks or 40% bonds? Then, itong maganda. Um, sa mutual fund, kung ano yung kinita ng pondo natin, i-reciprocate accordingly or commensurately dun sa in-invest natin. Uh, of course, the more shares that you have, kung kumita yan, um, the more profit that you will receive. Well, ganun din sa loss. Pero of course, we know the strategy naman. Of course, kung mababa yan, uh, paper loss lang. Wag, wag mong uh, gawing 
uh, wag mong i-realize yung loss na yon. So three concepts of mutual funds. So we have ownership. So ownership kaya tayo tinawag na stockholder or shareholder. So parang you own a part of the company. Then number of shares. Okay. Um I think kay Tito Paul ko to na na rineg or na tutunan. Dati kasi noon, ang tina-target ko sa mutual fund parang masyado akong focus sa amount. Maganda din palang strategy na ang i-target mo yung number of shares na mapo-purchase mo. So, ginawa ko yan sa Soldivo. Di ba ang Soldivo hindi pa umaabot ng piso? Lalo na yung year na ano, na yung mga early years niya. Di ba? So, just imagine, ang Phil Equity also started with 1 peso per share. So, what if mag-target ka ng 1 million shares in the next 5 years? So that means, kung naka-accumulate ka ng 1 million shares ng Soldivo Strategic Growth Fund, Inc., and 20 years from now, maging 40 pesos per share yan. So 40 pesos times 1 million shares, or at least you have 40 million pesos. So kaya maganda rin na target ang number of shares. So ownership, we own the shares, we are, we are called stockholders. Hindi ka depositor. Tulad, tulad ng nangyayari kung um, sa banko na saving na nag-open ka ng savings account or you maintain savings account. So, ownership, number of shares, and very important, yung long-term. Kasi karamihan ang nakakausap natin, di ba? Parang hindi pa nga nag-start, ang tanong na kaagad, ano? Ang tanong na kaagad, kailan ko ma, we will draw. So, again, we always go back na dun sa matching Lalong-lalo lalo na kung long-term yung goal niya. Kung sinabing retirement, eh, 30 years old siya ngayon, magre-retire siya at 60, o bakit may ipupull out? Hindi ka pa 60 years old. So, eto yung ginagamit ko when it comes to sa financial check-up, dun sa investing. Yung, kanyari, 30 years old siya ngayon. We could, we could have an example later on. Okay, discuss muna natin yung advantages. So, number one, we have professional management. Diba? Ako personal lang to, ha? I tried yung direct trading. I even tried yung Forex. Um, eventually, pinull out ko yung accounts ko without moving. Nag-stagnate lang. Kasi, di ba, um, ang principle ko was, ang reason ko was, kesa ma-stress ako, kesa mag-spend ako ng time to monitor, to analyze, ang gusto ko nalang entendihin is maglagay ng pera, then some people would manage it on my behalf. Um, well, other people would like to learn stock trading. Iba-ibang affinity tayo. So, ako lang personal level or personal preference. Mas gusto ko yung, di ba, mag, maglalagay ka na lang or auto-debit arrangement. Yun na lang iintindihin mo. Kasi, sabi ko nun, kesa mag-monitor ako, what if dagdagan ko na lang yung business activities ko? What if gumawa na lang ako ng uh, productive activities na madadagdagan yung kinikita ko? So, professional management, you have professional fund managers na, di ba, alam yung ins and out ng, ng industriya na may access sa Bloomberg Channel, na inaral nila for how many years and they have the experience compared to us na baguhan. And more or less, di ba, sa IMG, we really don't uh, dwell on that, yung mga technicalities ng uh, direct trading. Then, another advantage is diversification. So diversification, diversification in a sense na maraming companies ang nabibili nung ini-invest mo. ba sa prospectus, if you would observe, meron silang mga limit like 10% sa banking, 10% sa real estate, uh, 5% sa telecommunications. So at least may mga threshold. So bumagsak man yung isang industry, mapupull up nung uh, industry na tumaas. Example, di ba, ngayong pandemic, uh, siguro yung mga retail, since may lockdown, of course, bumagsak yun. Pero, umakyat naman ng ano, um, e-commerce, umakyat ang mga, ang telecommunications kasi all of us would need internet. Bumagsak ang aviation, sabihin natin si Pacific, pero tumaas naman si PLDT. So, ganun ang diversification, di ba? Don't put 
all of your eggs in one basket. So that means if you would translate that, don't invest your money on one company. So have it diversified. Then another advantage is uh, liquidity. Okay, uh, my advantage is advantage yan. Sa sobrang liquid, baka naman ma-attempt ka or ma-attract ka to, to liquidate it, di ba? Um, ibig sabihin na dun yung thought, ah, madali lang naman siyang ibenta, kailangan ko ng pera emergency to, i-pull out ko na. Okay, double-edged sword. Pero naman, may advantage siya. Compared sa isang real estate na, di ba, hindi mo yan pwedeng i-liquidate ka agad-agad. Sa mutual funds, ibibenta mo yung shares to the mutual fund company, papalitan nila nung kung magkano man yung uh, value niya. So, ganun siya kadali. Kasi, um, example, there was a time na, kasi ang emergency fund ko, nilalagay ko sa bond fund. So, basta may time na sobrang nagkasabay-sabay lang talaga yung mga babayarin ko. May ganung month, di ba, in a year na magjuju yung insurance mo, kung mga annual yan, tapos magjuju yung taxes mo, etc. April, basta in my part, April. Tapos nagpapaaral pa ako na ng kapatid ko ng, sa college. So, uh, dun ko na-realize yung liquidity. Kasi, um, I think, at that time, ang bulk ng emergency fund ko nasa first metro na bond fund, yung save and learn, uh, save and learn yung fixed income fund nila. So, tapos may metro bank account din ako. So, alam mo, in three days, kaagad na forward na yung, ano, yung redemption proceeds. So, at least, di ba, mutual fund, liquid. Hindi siya tulad ng tangible assets na uh, it takes time. It takes time to liquidate. Or minsan, kung hindi mo na maliquidate, willing ka na ibagsak presyo or ibenta mong palugi. Then, another advantage is what? Affordability. Diba? I think every one of us or a lot of people, sorry, a lot of people could afford, diba, 1,000 or could afford um, 5,000 as a start to invest. Hindi naman siya tulad ng ibang investment na outright dapat mag-shell out ka ng 200,000 or 300,000. And another advantage which I think we should really take advantage of kasi ang Philippines, dito sa Philippines, tax exempt pa rin ang mutual fund redemption. Uh, unlike in the States, um, hindi. Kaya pansinin mo, if you read mga Kiyosaki na books, hindi siya masyado more on dito sa mutual funds kasi tax sa States ang ang mutual fund. So, dito, um, hindi tax. Sa savings account, di ba, yung interest, maliit na nga, yung interest na nakuha mo, i-withholding tax pa nila ng 20%. So, dito, sa mutual fund, nag-redeem ka ng ganitong number of shares, e multiply lang nila sa net asset value per share, yun na yun, wala nang bawas. So, professional management, diversification, diba, putting, uh, not putting all your eggs in one basket, liquidity, yung ease na i-convert siya into money, affordability, low capital requirement, then uh, tax advantages. So, yan yung mga benefits natin on investing in mutual funds. Pero may disadvantage din naman. So, as with other investments, hindi to guaranteed. Returns are not guaranteed. So, there are risks involved, lalo na kung mga blue chip or stock or equity fund ang pinasok mo. So, fees can return, can reduce your return unless you have zero load benefits. Diba? Emphasize natin to. Um, zero load benefits kasi meron dyan tayo sa IMG. So, hindi na to disadvantage sa atin. Hindi na siya disadvantage. Kasi, diba, we have zero load, uh, zero load benefits. Then, uh, since hindi guaranteed yung returns, Diba, you can lose money, but we can, this is preventable, diba? E, wag mong i-realize yung loss. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, wag kang mag-redeem kasi alam natin na, lalo na kung stocks yan or equities, sobrang ang bababa ng net asset value per share. Uh, siguro kung mag -re redeem ka man, dapat bond fund. Kasi usually opposite yan. Kung mataas ang stocks, um, yeah. kung, maba, kung pababa ang stocks, pababa ang equities, ang fixed income naman or ang bond funds, pataas. So what are the factors to consider? So diba, parang um, babalikan natin yung mga diniscuss natin kanina. So goals, ano ba yung goals natin? Again, we have to write our goals and compute kung magkano 
yung goal na yon factoring in of course yung inflation but time horizon how many years from now before ako magre-retire how many years from now mag-aaral yung anak ko risk tolerance magkano yung percentage loss na kayang i-tolerate ko na hindi ako aatakihin sa puso or mas stress then uh, diversification so well represented halos lahat ng industries from mining to um uh, to telecommunications, to aviation, to retail, to banking. So, ganun ang uh, ibig sabihin ng diversification. Then, these are the types of mutual funds na na-mention na rin natin kanina. So, bond fund. So, these are uh, fixed income instruments. Okay, wag yung illiteral yung fixed income. Uh, in our case, sa ino-offer natin sa IMG. Kasi, nagpa-fluctuate pa rin yung mga bond funds natin. Um, Pero kasi, technically, sakop din ng bond fund yung mga in na bonds ng sabihin natin ng land bank na nakalagay na talaga dun sa certificate ng bonds mo kung magkanong returns niya. So, in that case or in that sense, fix talaga siya na literal. Um, sa case natin, ang interpretation, hindi siya talaga fixed. Pero yung fluctuation niya, yung volatility niya, hindi ganun ka-abrupt or... Uh, hindi ganun ka, di ba kung igagraph mo ang equity sobrang parang may mga spikes. So ito more or less flatline. Kung mag ano man, kung mag fluctuate, sobrang konti-konti lang yung ano niya, yung fluctuation niya. Kaya sinasabi natin na stable. So stability plus reasonable growth. Stable siya, pero reasonable din naman yung growth compared sa kikitain yan sa uh, savings account. So, 6%. So, average earning, 6%. Average lang, ha? hindi sasabihin natin sa kliyente, oh, tutubo yan ng 6%. Okay, money market naman, mas ano to, um, shorter. So, short-term fixed income instruments. Ang may money market sa atin, na familiar ako yung field equity. So, stability plus minimal. So, mas mababa usually yung growth nito compared sa bond fund. So, 2%. Then stock funds, so shares of stocks or equity funds, then long-term, dapat ang time horizon natin, then capital growth. So 18%. Minsan mas mataas, minsan mas mababa, minsan nag-negative din. So ako, I was fortunate na I started in IMG 2007. So that means na abutan ako nung financial crisis. And there were, um, may mga investments ako na ang net asset value per share ng field equity nasa 6 pesos, 8 pesos, 10 pesos, 12 pesos. So ngayon, di ba, kahit pandemic, hindi na siya bumalik sa 6, 10, or 12 pesos. I think ngayon nasa 30 siya, 20-something nung huling check ko. Okay, balance fund in between. Um, hindi ka masyadong play safe, hindi ka rin naman masyadong aggressive. Pero essentially, natutunan ko to kay Rex Mendoza, um, hindi niya masyadong in-encourage yung balance fund in a sense na kung meron kang fixed income, um, kung meron kang bond fund and stock fund, essentially, meron kang balance kasi you have both, right? Pero I think uh, practical lang kung mag-balance fund kung sabihin natin, we go back to your time horizon, sabihin mo 4 years or 5 years, ano, sakto yun sa balance fund. Okay. Um, in mutual fund, you have the so-called technique, yung money cost averaging. Dinadistas to sa ano, jumpstart school or sa, or sa fast start or fast truck school. So, ibig sabihin lang ng money cost averaging, instead na isang bagsakan, um, i-distribute natin siya. So, again, babalik tayo dun sa higher purpose of investing or higher purpose of becoming wealthy. Diba? It's really more on the discipline that you develop or the discipline that you instill while accumulating that money. So, kasi yung ibang tao sa sabihin, tamad ako margin, mag-intindi, gusto ko isang bagsaka na lang. Uh, may pagka-disadvantage yun when we talk about money cost averaging. Bakit? Example, ang monthly contribution mo is 100 pesos. Tapos, ang price per unit or ito yung sabihin natin net asset value per share. So, ito yung nagpa-fluctuate. So, isipin na lang natin na yung price per unit or the net asset value per share, uh, presyo siya ng gasolina. ba? Ang presyo ng gasolina, everyday nagpa-fluctuate. Meaning, 
um, with the same amount of contribution, kung mas mababa ang net asset value per share, mas marami kang shares na mabibili. Kung mas mababa ang presyo ng gasolina per liter, with the same amount of money, mas marami kang mabibiling gasolina or mafufull tang ka at a smaller um, at a smaller payment. So example, on month one, may 100 pesos ka, ang net asset value per share 100. So 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. So 1 share. The following month, bumaba yung net asset value per share, naging 50, so half, pero double yung shares na nakuha mo. So naging one-fourth, so four shares, di ba baliktad? Naging one-fourth yung NADPS, nag-quadruple yung number of shares or units na purchase mo. So naging 20, kaya may five units ka dyan, bumalik sa 25 ulit, kaya nag four, uh, four shares ang nabili mo, then 50 peso, so two shares. Okay, uh, paano ka mag-redeem sa mutual fund? So kung ano yung uh, net asset value per share at the time, multiply sa shares na i-redeem mo. Example, mag-redeem ka on the sixth month, meron kang 18 shares, multiply mo yan sa 50. So meron kang, ano, meron tayong 900 pesos na na-redeem. 900 pesos. Magkano yung kinontribute natin? So, magkano yun? 600. So, may 300 pesos ka na kita. Okay. What if ang ginawa natin uh, isang bagsakan? On the month, on the first month, ang ginawa natin, 600 binuhos natin. So, 600 divided by 100, 6 shares. So, 6 shares times 50 pesos per share is equal to 300 so, 50% loss ka. So, maganda tong technique. Yung money cost averaging. ba sinabi natin kanina, ang pagpapayaman, ang pag-i-invest, dapat consistent tayo. But timing, time is more important than timing. Um, kasi yung iba, minamanage na nga ng mutual fund manager, minamanage pa nila yung, ay, sige kung bumaba, saka o mag-invest. We can do that, ba Like ngayon, nag-pandemic, Diba, dagdagan mo yung uh, usual na kinocontribute mo every month. Ako ang suggestion ko, ang strategy ko, which I really find effective, lahat ng mutual funds ko, except for uh, the dollar mutual fund, naka-auto-debit na siya. Uh, Phil Equity, naka-auto-debit siya with my BPI. May pipirmahan ka lang na forms na you authorize Phil Equity to get this amount every, I think ang choice is, first or 16th of the month. So, sinakto nila sa sweldo. Um, so, Devo, you can have a scheduled payment kasi pwede mo siyang ma-enroll sa bills payment with BPI. So, pwede mo siyang schedule both strategic and bond. Ang Sun Life ko, index tsaka equity, uh, BPI din, uh, auto-debit din. Pero ang problema pa sa Sun Life, uh, kunya you have two funds, isang date lang, hindi mo siya pwedeng ihiwalay. Uh, so Sun Life, um, 8 tram ko, uh, BPI din, naka-auto debit. Yun ba parang, uh, para din kasi yan, I think natutunan ko to kay Ma'am Cathy yung line na to na, treat your investment program as one of your utility bills. So ibig sabihin nun, uh, wala kang choice. Diba ang meral ko, ang electricity bill or gas or tubig, wala kang excuse, bayaran mo yan. Otherwise, puputulan kita ng kuryente or puputulan kita ng tubig. So hearing that line, parang inisip ko, uh, di ba, ang hirap ng buhay kung walang kuryente. Ang hirap ng buhay nang walang tubig. So ganun din, ang hirap ng buhay kung hindi tayo mag-prepare for retirement. So, unconditional, kailangang uh, pondohan natin yan every month or kung ano man yung in-establishment of frequency. And to address that, yung discipline issue, uh, nire-recommend ko talaga yung mga ano, yung auto-debit arrangement. Kasi parang ano din yan eh, uh, nag-issue ka ng post-dated or parang, di ba, si government nga before mo ma-receive yung sweldo mo, kinuha niya na yung shares niya, yung share niya from your sweldo. E di ikaw din, as the hard worker, kunin mo na yung share mo for that hard work. At least, mama-mindset ka. 
Ito, yung auto-debit arrangement, magandang pang mindset din yun eh, na ay, ito lang yung pwede kong gastusin. Or kung kulang, sa na ko, halos lahat mapupunta na, uh, mapipilitan ka mag-activities or mapipilitan ka to really grow your business. Para kahit ang dami mong napa-auto-debit arrangement, kung okay yung pasok ng pera, di ba? Um, hindi mo siya po problemahin. Okay, so these are the mutual fund companies na hawak natin. So we have Philam Assets, through Ramber, so we have Phil Equity, Sun Life, Soldivo, Atrium, and Fami. So Soldivo ngayon, uh, si Atrium ang nagmamanage. So ganito, um, pwede kayong, ano, pwede kayong uh, with this fund, di ba, pwede tayong yung sinasabi natin ng matching. Say for example, for your Phil Equity, this would be for your retirement. Diba? Actually, re halos retirement ang goals natin. I mean, and at least for my case. So, Sun Life for my retirement. ATRAM, I have the so-called auxiliary fund. So, either, uh, diba, kung nangangarap ka maging uh, mag-put up ng charitable organization, ng isang charity organization later on, diba, you can also allocate for that. So, sabihin natin dito charity. For charity works later on. Then, first metro, like, dito yung bond fund, pwede mong gawin for your um, emergency fund. Yung soldivo mo, pwede yung equity for your retirement or for education of your young children na 10 years or more pa ngayon magka-college. Yung bond fund mo, yun yung for emergency fund mo. So, at least, ano, may, may, ano, may ina-associate tayo na goal. Kasi, di ba, kung, kung wala tayong goal ni associate, uh, hindi natin maka-compute. And at the same time, wala yung drive na, di ba, kung kunyari, sa field equity, ay, yan ang magiging retirement ko. So, meaning, kung kalimutan mo yan, kalimutan mo na rin yung maging hawang retirement. So, maano ka, mamomotivate ka to really, to really put into that investment. Okay, ang ginagawa ko ganito, uh, paano ba mag-compute ng, uh, sample lang, ha? So, hopefully, uh, Okay pa yung time. Um, ako, isi-share ko lang kung paano ko ginagawa yung uh, mutual fund plus yung targeting or uh, fund matching. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, sasabihin ko, kanyari sa bago kong member, kung nag-financial check-up kami, example, uh, 30 years old siya ngayon. Tapos, balak niya mag-retire at 60. So, sasabihin ko sa kanya, uh, ang time frame mo, di ba na-discuss natin, one of the factors to consider is the time frame. So, we have 30 years to prepare for your retirement. So, from 30 years old to 60. And actually, di ba, um, the government is pushing to make it, um, to make retirement earlier, like 56 years old. So, ibig sabihin, I would tell my new member when we are doing yung blueprint, you have 30 years to increase your savings line. So that, when you retire, dito papasok yung big savings. Ito ning investment, di ba? Retirement. So, this is retirement. So, 30 years. Ang average lifespan is 85 so that means 25 years, almost equal. So dun ko na siya, parang ano, subconsciously sinasabi ko na kailangan mong gawin ang IMG business. Kasi that, di ba, 30 years to save pero 25 years yung isusustain niya. At that time, di ba, retirement, lahat palabas ng pera niyan. So 30 years to really make this line to go up. Okay. I would ask the person, if mag-retire ka ngayon, magkano yung kaya mong i -indeh? Ah, if mag-retire ka ngayon, magkano dapat yung pension mo? Or sasabi, kunyari, tatanungin ka ng kumpanya, oh, you're, you've been a very good employee of this company, magkano yung gusto mong pension every month kinabukasan? Oy, hindi factor in yung inflation ha? kasi ang setup, ang condition ng question is at 30 years old, kinabukasan, magre-retire ka na, magkano dapat yung uh, pension mo every month? So sasabihin niya, example, 50,000. 50,000 a month. So that means in a year, uh, 600,000. Sorry ha, kinakalky ko pa. <laughs> okay, 
Tama ba? 50 times 12. Okay, 600,000 a year. Okay, but yung nabibili ng 50,000 ngayon, um, iba na yung kailangan mo na pera para mabili yung mabi nabibili ng 50,000 30 years from now. So, gagamitin ka yung inflation rate. Diba? Ang inflation rate, sabi natin 6%. So, that means every 12 years, 72 divided by 6. So, that means every 12 years, dumodoble yung dumodoble yung presyo ng mga bilihin. So, ilang 12 years meron sa 30? Mga dalawa. So, that means yung 50,000, dalawang beses siya dodoble. So, 50,000 times 2, 100,000 times 2, so 200,000. So, kung ano yung mabibila ng 50,000 ngayon, yun ang mabibila ng 200,000 30 years from now, at the time na you're 60 years old. So, 200,000 a month. Sorry, magulo ah. Um, okay. I would allocate, ano, medyo uh, matagal akong nawala <laughs> sa um, sa leader, uh, sa leader's call. Hindi, everyday ako sa leader's call. Uh, medyo matagal akong nawala maging speaker dito sa, ano, sa session na to. Kaya, um, I would allocate time to answer questions towards the end. Okay, 200,000 per month. So, 200,000 per month times 12 so that means ang kailangan niya is 2.4 million a year. 2.4 million a year. Okay, pero di ba ang investment is what? You have money working for you. So that means yung 2.4 million dapat interest lang siya. Nung eto mo, nung target natin dito. So sasabihin ko, okay, may fixed income, sabihin natin 10%. So that means more or less, ang target mo is 24 million to retire. Para at the age of 60, meron kang 24 million, i-invest natin, i-reposition natin sa fixed income. So, 2.4 million a year na interest divided by 12 is equal to 200,000 a month. So, nag-swap na from man at work to adet. For man working for the money to money working uh, working for us. So, kailang mag-transition, right? So, 24 million. So, ang tanong ngayon, magkano dapat ang i-invest niya sa equity or sa stocks in the next 30 years para magkaroon siya ng 24 million? Mag-change lang ako ng, ano, ah, ng program. Okay, I hope nakikita niyo yung table. Uh, Ginamata ng isang member ko, tinabulate niya. Okay. Um, Ang target namin is 30 years. 30 years. Tapos, ang target is how much? 24 million. So, sabihin natin, ang naka-close is 25. Okay. So, ipo-project natin. Ayan, 30 years. Ito siya. Ayan. So, at least na-figure out namin na ito yung target niya. So, mag -e invest ka dapat sa fill equity ng 7,000 a month. So, in the next 30 years, para when you hit 60, you have 25 million. So, at least may math na involved, ba? Um, computed. A realistic yung approach. Pero syempre, what if the person says, nako, hindi ko margin kaya yung 7,000. Uh, parang pag-exercise din yan or pagpapapayat. You can start with a lower amount, then uh, mag adjust ka gradually. Ngayon, siguro, afford mo lang na 2,000, pero towards the ano, habang tumatagal, baka afford mo na na more than 7,000, 10,000, or 12,000. So at least, nagiging beswal, nagiging um, definite yung steps dun sa member natin or sa kausap natin. Ayan. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> ayan. So, ayan. So, 24 million, so that 7,000, sasabihin ko, um, to hit that goal, you should invest more or less, ita target natin, 7,500 a month. So, di ba, kung ay, kulang ako niyan. So, di ba, gawin natin yung IMG business, very workable na makuha mo yung uh, pang-invest na yan na 7,500 a month. Ayan, so hope you learned something from, from that. Okay, so ito yung mga funds na ano tayo, na hawak natin. So, Soldivo Bond, Soldivo Strategic Growth Fund, yung 
um, part of the 5-5, the 1,000 pesos na papambili ng shares, that's IMG Solivo Funds. Then for Fed Equity, marami yan. So we have Peso Bond, Dollar, Fed Equity Fund, uh, Index, then Dividend Yield. So you can check their website. Tapos kung gusto nyo malaman yung mga detalye, you can download their prospectus. So for Fela, marami din yan. Uh, di ba yung ibang tao are very familiar with pag-ibig? I think ang pag-ibig sa Felam siya, ano? sa Felam Mutual Fund siya nag-i-invest. Tapos ang SSS sa Phil Equity. Bulk of the uh, money ng SSS. Yung ipipension natin later on. Kaya kung, kunyari ngayon na wala kang, hindi ka employee or um, entrepreneur ka, um, I think ito lang ha, personal ano ko, once siguro masatisfy mo na yung requirement sa SSS para magpension, which is 10-year contribution, pwede mo siyang i-reposition yung supposedly contribution mo sa mutual fund na lang, di ba? After all, uh, dun din naman nila ini-invest. Di ba? Kung ano pa yung returns na dapat kuha mo. Then, uh, these are the initial forms. These are all available sa Ramper Financials na website. Yan. So, ramper.com. Then, um, sa Facebook page nila, uh, they made adjustments then considering the lockdown na pwede nang i-process halos lahat online. Ayan. And then these are the requirements. Then for initial, maraming ano, payment options. So these are the banks affiliated. Ayan. Uh, more on ano na lang. Uh, these resources are available in their website. Ayan. And we always go back to this. Okay, ang mutual fund that they discussed natin is this one, investment. So, simply put, investment is we have money working for us. Okay. So, pansin natin, no, if um, to better appreciate nung tao yung importance ng financial foundation, sasabihin ko lang na ang ultimate goal talaga natin sa buhay when it comes to finances is passive income, which is this. So, dapat continuously yung investment natin generates returns or generates interest such that the interest would be adequate or enough to sustain our needs or even beyond sustenance or maintenance. Okay, for money to continuously work for us uninterrupted, kailangan as much as possible, as much as possible, hindi to magalaw. Kasi once na ma-zero yan, kahit anong interest natin dito, zero na yung magiging product. Okay. Kaya doon natin ma-appreciate ang financial foundation. Uh, this lower components, these lower blocks, sinasabi ko lang, these act as shield nung investment natin. So meaning, kung ang financial foundation natin ganito, ting-ting, wala tong mga to, di ba? Pag nagkasakit ka, pull out ka agad sa si investment kasi walang healthcare. Pag na-disable, nagka-critical illness or namatay, pull out ka agad yung investment kasi walang insurance. So, bagsa ka agad. Baka mabura na ka agad to si investment. So, here, um, yung lower shield, yung lower blocks, just act as shield nung investment natin such that, di ba, magkasakit man, at least you have a healthcare to use. So, untouched pa rin yung pera natin si investment. May mangyari, insured, madadagdagan pa yung investment mo. Hindi ka mangungutang kasi may emergency fund ka or hindi mo magagalaw yung investment pag nagka-emergency kasi meron kang emergency fund or hindi ka mangungutang kung nagka-emergency kasi meron kang emergency fund. So we build from the ground up. Ano yan na, uh, not strictly na dapat tapos mo ng healthcare before you go up. Pwede rin na pie chart approach. So you decide, you figure out how much you can save in a month, then you allocate. A portion will go to your healthcare, a portion will go to your insurance, a portion will go to payment of your debts, a portion will go to your investment, then a portion will go to your um, will go to your uh, mutual funds. Yeah, kaya dun papasok si healthcare to satisfy this uh, si Kaiser to satisfy this structure. Ayan. So what if you can have investment, healthcare, and life insurance all at the same time? So at least may seed in money na tao on these blocks, on these three blocks. But of course, ang specialization naman ni Kaiser is healthcare. If 
okay na, may healthcare na siya, may insurance na siya. Pag i-augment talaga natin yung investment, dito na papasok si mutual fund. Ayan. So, di ba, as we have this uh, campaign, 30 million by 2030. So, kaya very timely to, uh, very relevant to, financial education is not just for the wealthy. Di ba, it's for everyone. And mutual fund, for me, is a great equalizer. Um, employee ka man, hindi ka ganun kayaman, uh, makaka-invest ka. You have the same opportunity that wealthy people have access to.